feels like Marcus Smart's been there constant. You hear the all the positive things people say around the league, heart and soul, the defense, defensive player of the year, stuff like that. Can you just kind of describe from a basketball sense just the impact he has on the game? Yeah, and I, I coached Marcus um, in the World Cup a few summers ago, so um, along with Jason and, and Jalen um, and Kemba at the time, we had four Celtics on that team. So um, I've gotten to know these guys a little bit. Uh, Jason last year uh, during the Olympics, um, so it's been fun to, to get to know them. And, and uh, But uh, Marcus, uh, I, I described him yesterday as kind of the guard version of Draymond. You know, he's, um, he's just all over the place defensively, uh, really, really smart, um, anticipates plays, um, understands angles, um, you know, the versatility to guard um, one through five, um, it's all there. So uh, there's a reason he won one defensive player of the year. He's a, he's a, a, a great, great defender and, and a, probably an underrated offensive player as well. Steve kind of compared you two. I'm, I'm not going to ask you to compare you and him, but just what do you, what do you think he does that you, you, know, you do as a player too that makes you two, two of the most uh, dominant defenders in the league here? I think he really thinks the game. You know, you, you can see it uh, just the way he plays. He, you know, the way he's teaching guys, the way he's commanding attention in huddles and, you know, going through the X's and O's and huddles, like you see it all. Um, I think he does a great job of that. Uh, Marcus Smart, I think, and I've been speaking on this a lot, I think people tend to forget uh, Marcus Smart's number one his number one attribute or positive on him coming out of the draft was his leadership and that he's a winner and a true point guard. And the qualities that he has, the quali especially on that side of the ball, are those of a leader. Um, are those, when you see him with the X's and O's and teaching, are those of a point guard. And so, um, you know, I think he's continued to grow into his leadership. Um, I think, you know, there were times earlier in his career where most people wouldn't know how to handle it. And so then you end up getting a bad rap and it's like, oh, this guy's doing too much of this. He's doing too much of that. He's continued to grow into the leader that he's become. And it's been, it's been really good to watch. Steve Kerr said that you remind him you're kind of like a guard version of Draymond on defense. Uh, would you agree with that? I would. And then that's a, you know, um, a great comparison. You know, it's an honor to be compared to a guy of Draymond's caliber, you know, um, champion, great leader, great defender. Um, and, you know, he, he does what he does very well. So, you know, I, I like to look at myself as that way. Um, and I definitely take some, some, some notes on Draymond and, you know, the way that he leads, the way that he plays the game.